Hello and welcome to another exciting live chat with myself and welcome to everyone that's joining now. Um, so as usual I will uh, waffle on unless someone asked a question and today I was going to start the waffle by talking about pyramids. Um, the reason why I say that is because um, I put a video up uh, explaining that a giant you know, to, just to lift one block would need to be absolutely humongously tall um, compared to the size of a human for the size of the block that they were lifting. And uh, I had a couple of people saying, no, the blocks weren't lifted, they were poured uh, and made as concrete. So I've done some videos already. Unfortunately, these people haven't seen the videos that I've done where I sort of show that... Um, the, there's two types of material that they used or supposedly used to make these um, concrete blocks for pyramids. And one of the materials was limestone, which <laughs> hi Amanda, who says she's been waiting forever. Um, uh, one of the materials is limestone and the other material, I can't remember the name of it, but it's something that they have to go and get. It's not, not local to the area in Giza, for example. Now, what everyone seems to forget when they talk about poor in this is the pyramids that were in Mesopotamia, the ziggurats, are a lot older, thousands and thousands of years older than the Giza pyramids, thousands. So it's all well and good saying, yes, we know that um, the pyramids were, were built using concrete, which it wasn't actually because the material that they use, the second part of the material they use to cure it um, to, to make it cement, so you can't just have limestone and water, you have to use this other stuff, I can't remember the name of it, um, but they actually admitted that it takes two weeks to harden properly, so the the problem you have there is when they're saying that they poured the concrete into place on the in the pyramid, doesn't actually make sense, because they, first of all they'd have to wait two weeks for that one block before they could put another block on top, but also... I don't know how many people realise that inside the pyramid there was these what they what originally was was thought to be trap doors, um, but they're not trap doors. <clears throat> they they originally people thought that they were these stones would come down once the pyramid was built um, to block certain entrances, and people thought that they were done to stop grave robber, you know tomb robbers back then, Lara Croft for example. But they wasn't, they were built for other reasons to allow, because basically the, the way the Great Pyramid worked was there was uh, water would come up from underneath. So there was a, a channel that went from the Nile, which actually I will get to the, how the Nile was built. And it was actually built, I believe, yes, by the Anunnaki. So we all, we're all sitting here thinking that the, the Nile is, um, uh, you know, natural, but no. If you go back and read the ancient texts, they needed the water to come right past. So that's the reason why it goes right past. Because everyone's like, oh, well, it's a bit of luck. The, <laughs> it's not a bit of luck. It's designed that way. Um, so um, I'll answer your questions in a sec. I'll just finish off. Um, so, yeah, so the it takes two two weeks for that block to cure. They needed these other blocks that interlocked that then would drop down. So that would have been pretty much impossible for them to have done um, if they were just going to carry on building on top. And also that doesn't equate to the ziggurats and the other buildings and other locations that didn't have the material that they suggest that would have made the concrete part of the blocks. So you've got the limestone. However, when you actually look at the limestone, um, the blocks themselves, <clears throat> There's no trace of the other element that they were talking about in the blocks. So that kind of ruins that. But of course, people don't look into that deep enough. And the other problem with that is... Um, sorry, I was just reading questions there. Um, messages. Um, all right, I better start going. I'm waffled on enough. I'll go on to the question. Sorry. Uh, Victor has wrote BS. Um, to what point... To the fact that um, the pyramids uh, were, were built with supposedly concrete, which I agree that they wasn't. 
or are you saying that they were built with, or the BS part is the actual fact that they were real concrete, uh, real real rock taken from the quarry um, that's at the back. Now, the quarry, if you look properly and do your research, which a lot of people, I'm guessing, Victor, you're one of these. Um, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm guessing you're just an armchair researcher. But when you actually do the research, um, you'll find that the quarry is missing the correct amount of stone that made the three pyramids, which is... So you, if, you, if you're going to go along the, the lines that... Now, I've watched the videos where they say that people poured concrete to make the blocks, um, and they don't mention the quarry. They say they got the limestone from around Giza off the ground, literally scooped it up, and then this other material, I just can't remember the name of it, um, they had to go a little bit further away for and bring that back. Not once did they mention the quarry. So, Victor, if, if you've got to ask yourself, okay, where is all the rock gone from the quarry? And it is a quarry. You can tell it's been, been chipped out. So where's that rock gone if the pyramids were made with concrete? So where's that rock gone? Point to where that is. So the logic, uh, unfortunately, because people don't want to believe in aliens and whatever else, they just say, well, it was made by concrete. But then they don't go back and answer how the ziggurats were made thousands of years before without the same materials. So that's that's where we are with the BS, unfortunately. Um, mainstream is the BS. They, they try and fit. It's the same as the, the flat earth and everything else. They try and fit. Um, a square peg into a round hole just so that they can be right and unfortunately the logic says no they're not right okay so S45 has wrote do you think aliens are from the future I have mentioned this a couple of times on some other live chats no I used to think that um, <clears throat> because I started looking into um, so for example some of the alien small greys had six fingers and I was thinking, well, so I started researching how many um, people are growing six fingers now. And it's actually an alarming rate, um, believe it or not. They are actually, people are, are having their fingers, uh, a cousin of mine uh, at birth had, had a six finger uh, removed straight away. So it's, um, so that's, you know, that was making me think, well, like, yeah, you know, that's, we're on the right path here because obviously, um, we control the sound around us, so therefore, this, you know, we won't need um, large ears. Our teeth will become smaller because we, we can mince things up using technology, etc. So, yeah, I, did, I used to think that, but since then, doing so much more research, um, I don't believe there's any humans that have gone into the future that are now coming back to do what I believe we've gone into the future um and military wise and uh, the military are, are doing whatever they're doing um but i don't think as a race we've gone into the future and then come back and any of the ones that are known to us are us from the future i don't see that now i i, I did thought that before but knowing what i know now i don't think they are us from the future um so yeah that's just my opinions um, where is Nimrod's body? Uh, Jules has asked. I do not know the answer to that. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, Mickey has wrote, good morning from Texas. Don't forget to hydrate. <laughs> um, I had a drink before I came and I thought of you <laughs> before I <laughs> sat down. Um, P7 Peppermint has wrote, aliens. Um, Try and be specific on the question, um, otherwise I could just waffle on about one particular alien race and you'll be like, no, I was thinking of a different one. Um, so if you've got any questions you want to ask me, try and make it slightly specific. Uh, obviously, if I don't know, like, unfortunately, I didn't know where the body is for the Nimrods. Um, I, you know, I'll try and answer it. Uh, user too much has wrote, this is like listening to Skyrim book talking um hopefully that's a good thing <laughs> um i hope so uh alman fire has wrote do you believe in time travel um i believe the military have it yeah totally um don't believe all the whistleblowers um that are supposedly time travelers 
I, you know, I keep pointing out um, Andrew Bashago as one as was he when he was a child going through um, time traveling. Um, I, I don't believe him. Although, you know, I've spoken to other researchers that say, no, you know, everything that he says is very compelling and blah, blah, blah. But I still come back to the fact that on one interview on Coast to Coast, he said that his dad allowed him to go through back in time on his own to the era of the Gettysburg Address, um, in which case he then ended up apparently being snapped in a photograph that we can see to this day. Any parent wouldn't let their kid go out. So, yeah, I just can't believe he allowed his kid on his own to go back in time and then hope that his kid doesn't get killed, murdered, whatever, and hope that his kid can manage to find where... Do you see what I mean? So that's why I struggle with some of the time travellers, uh, say they're time travellers, but I do totally believe that the um, militaries had that capability now for some time, Um Basically, the the start of their time travel was the Philadelphia experiment when they started to experiment with things. Now, you've got other people that says that they've now found natural portals. Um, and there's also the looking glass as well, which apparently they can see into the future. Um, I, I think they have got the time travel thing sorted. Um there's different places to, to if you need to know more I don't, obviously I'm looking at messages so if you need to know more Pacifics ask a Pacific question and I can explain a bit more um, James Wilson's wrote what is the best alien footage you've seen it was a I, I've tried to find it I wish I'd downloaded all these things you just don't realise that Google uh, stroke YouTube will pull off all these things uh, the first one I saw was way back 2004. This was before um, YouTube even got sort of popular. And it was, um, I think I mentioned this before, it was a military uh, presentation. So some guy was at the front of the stage with a, with a sort of projector screen. And there was loads of military people sitting down watching and the camera was behind the military people. And this guy went through all of the military spaceships that they have, like the TR-3B. Um, and he, he explained, I watched it a few times, I wish I bloody downloaded it. Um, and he explained about the tripod legs and the fact that it, it lets off a radiation, so they have to have it on a, uh, when it lands over in um, their military bases, they have to have it up high. Uh, onto a metal plate and things like that. And then he explained so much, um, even to the point of showing photographs of time travel in these things, uh, showed some sort of what looked like a dinosaur head. Um, and they'd gone back in time in one of these craft. And he also showed photographs of um, where they were near, I think, Saturn. And there was a, a craft that they took a picture through the window of, which had a, an American... Uh, Air Force, Air Force, not um, not Space Force flag back then. Um, now, obviously, they've got the new emblem for the Space Force. Um, so that was the best footage I ever saw. And it was totally credible. There was no, you know, back then, YouTube wasn't, you know, there was a handful of people sticking up a load of crap on it. So to see that on there, um, you know, with re real people dressed in real military clothes, it, you know, now you could say, well, you know, it's all CGI and green screen and everything else. But back then, I totally believed that. I mean, the guy waffled on for about 25 minutes, explaining all sorts of stuff. Um, uh, so that is the best footage. Unfortunately, I have looked and looked and looked for hours trying to find that again. But of course, um, as we know, we're all not daft. YouTube uh, stroke Google pulled these things now, unfortunately. Um, and obviously, if his if it was real, and his superiors found out that, that footage was on YouTube, they would have pulled it as well. Um, Liam Kagas wrote, uh, "Paranormal life, in your view, when you're dead, you're dead. Is that that's it? No. Well, yes and no. You're dead. So when you die, this is my view. When you die, you pass over. So you're now still here. You're in. You can be in the same room uh, if you want to be." Um, so your personality is still there. That's joined with this entity that joined with you when you was three to four months in the womb. 
So you're now floating around as this energy orb. We can't see you. Um, <clears throat> you can sort of knock things with, using um, manifestation stroke frequency. Um, but then when you cross again, you go to the light, as the, as the saying is, but you cross over again to another plane. Um, that's when you don't carry on your consciousness as such. Um, and then that spirit that's entity that's got you now inside it, so to speak, um, has also got other people's memories from past lives. And eventually that spirit will join with someone else. <clears throat> and if you past life that person, you know, if you did a regression on that person now, uh, past life regression, you could ask them about your life that you had. Um, so you do, I think you do die eventually when you cross over to the light and so that's your personality gone. Your memories and everything uh, retain with that entity, which is the whole point of why the entity does it, to learn. Um, and you can access that using uh, professional hypnotists that can do the past life regressions. A lot of hypnotists don't do that, so you have to go to the ones that, that can. But as I say, once you're over to that light side, for want of a better word, um, you're gone, I'm afraid. That's that's the way I take it. Um, I'm just cruising through. What if ghosts are just our minds not being able to process the loss of someone and creates them? No, I, I, I mean, enough... Um, Paranormal people, clairvoyants, all these kind of people have, you know, people that don't even know each other, people that from from way back when, uh, even Edgar Casey, for example, um, they've all, uh, you know, this goes back before um, TV and news, you know, people used to see ghosts and things, um, and they also used to see the orbs. So we can now see the orbs sometimes. We can see them on certain types of cameras. Uh, you need sort of like a, an infrared camera or a night vision camera. Uh, and if you're lucky, you can see an orb. Um, so base to me, um, the ghosts are the entity that leaves your body when you die. When, when the pineal gland that's in your head, which is also classed as Horace's eye or the third eye, um, once that has no blood anymore going to it um, the entity then bugs off and leaves um, now if you get blood back to that there's the old um, stories really of people that have a different entity join back with them uh, after that left and then they end up being able to play piano from because that's past life regression uh, past life someone else could play the piano paint sing whatever it was that they couldn't do before that's because of that but um, the ghosts are in my opinion are the entities that leave your body when you die which is still technically you even though your essence and everything is there um, you're, it's not you it's the entity that's that's been with you since before you was born um, and that's what I think a ghost is I, I, there's enough out there for me to totally believe in that um, you know just from listening to people and talking to people and even people that are near death experiences so it's not just all these clairvoyance and things it's also people that genuine people you know with respectable jobs and things have um, said that they've come across um that's how it how it comes across to them. Uh, just scrolling down. James Wilson's wrote best footage of alien beings. I don't know if you've seen it. There, again, I, I I really should have started downloading this. This was probably about five years ago. I saw footage of it was on YouTube. Um, it was a fisherman that was out at night on the sea. Um, it wasn't just him, obviously, so it was other people, but he was on the back of the boat and he saw this, what looked like a UFO. And he got his camcorder, um, which was great because his camcorders at the time could zoom in better than a phone could. And he zooms right in and you can see the windows and you can actually see these little bloody grey, obviously it was all dark, but, but lit from the inside of this craft. But you can see these sort of, you know, we know they're the greys, you can see his greys heads moving around and, and walking and stuff. Obviously, the, the footage, he was on a boat, so it was very wobbly. 
Um, you know, and I, I know CGI and stuff. It was a long story. It's, it's another life of mine. Um, so I know CGI quite well. Um, and that, you know, that to me was very real. Um, so that I think was probably the best. And it was not just, you know, a quick second. It was, it was filmed it for about 15 minutes uncut as well which was which was really good you know zoom in zoom out and everything else um now the only thing i would have liked to have seen would have been um some sort of landmark because then you can work out where it was distance height blah 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 but um obviously it was it was in the middle of the where whatever ocean he was in and it was literally pitch black other than his boat lights and the ufo lights so um that's what i think is the best footage i wish i you know i'm gonna have to start downloading these things but um yeah i don't know if you guys have seen that video it was fascinating again i've looked for it but i, I can't find it It might still be up but I, uh, I can't remember what the title was jonathan's wrote what about 9 11 um yeah i've researched that myself a lot and i've come to the conclusion that most people have that it was um it wasn't the people that they said it was. And I don't know where you are from, Jonathan, but just to give you an insight, um, the same security company that did 9-11 that should have had the videos of the perpetrators in the hotel, uh, in the airports, as you remember, there was no, no footage of them. Uh, you'd think there would be. But just so happens their cameras was down, etc., etc. That same security company is the same security company that over here in the UK, we had what they call the 7-7 bombings. And it was a series of um, bombs that went off all in one day by these supposed um, radicalised people. Now, the cameras that should have caught them on the trains and things like that yeah, guess who? Guess what security company said the, the cameras weren't working that day? Same company. So we've got two incidents of mass murders and the same company is the same company that couldn't prove any of the footage. That's just one of many, as you can imagine, many things that um, lead it towards being an inside job. Um, if you need to know more Pacifics or whatever, just ask. Or go into um, PJ has wrote, uh, why is there no news footage on aliens? Only certain people see them. Why is that? Okay, so the newspapers are owned by certain groups. Um, I believe there's seven, seven um, families that own all of the major newspapers in the world. So although you think, oh, well, you know, that's independence. That's, no, they follow the paper trail. And it all goes back to, I think there's about seven um, companies that own the magazines, own the, they're all bought by the same people. Cut, cut a long story short, unless you're an independent person making, uh, and the same goes for the media channels as well. Very few media channels are actually truly independent and don't have a narrative. So when you break down that the narratives um, are from those seven families, which some of those are part of the 13 that run the planet, um, once you work out that they don't want us to know about these things, then they're not going to do it. That's it. So I mean, back in the day, you know, back in the 40s, um, before we knew too much about aliens, etc. Yeah, they'd print all sorts of things. They'd talk about giants. You could just look at the the history. You can almost see once these big companies, which were owned by single people, started to buy out the medias, um, then you can sort of see the trail of the you know the giants and the aliens and everything else that they were talking about seriously, Bigfoots and the stuff prior to that. And then once these big companies took over they ridiculed people that would talk about aliens and they'd say, you know, tinfoil hat. And that's the newspapers that did that. So unfortunately, and that's why you don't see talk about crop circles anymore because they put fake people in to make fake crop circles and now the newspapers won't even bother reporting them on them 
because they just say, well, they're, they're done by people. But so the whole thing's a bit of a scam, unfortunately. Um, so that's really sad. Uh, Alu Card has wrote, awesome content, still catching up. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what about Shambhala? So that's um, the Inner Earth, if I remember correctly, from the Tibetan um, side of it. Uh, so yes, they do. They believe that there was an inner earth along with um, Jules Verne, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, so the inner earth. Um, I have done a few live chats on inner earth, so I won't go too much into detail unless you ask me something very specific. But um, I, yeah, I think there's. It's not an inner earth like everyone thinks an inner earth is. It's it's more just very very long deep caves that that go down quite far. Um, so if you need to know something specific, I was a waffle on, but I have already done stuff on um, the inner earth. So just just sort of try and be specific on the questions that we can. Um, what are the different alien races? Uh, Binky Da Stinky has wrote. Um, <sighs> okay, so there's a lot of different races. Um, now, if you if you listen to people like Corey Good, who supposedly uh, and there's another guy, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, um, that supposedly have met and been into these... Um, do you remember one of the Star Wars movies, the the ones with the CGI, uh, the, the second lot, where there was this, like, meeting and they had these... like Almost like a coliseum, but futuristic, where all these aliens were sitting around. Apparently that's how... Um, some of these whistleblowers have said that they've seen them. They've said they've seen absolutely humongous giants there. They've seen tiny, tiny little humanoid people. Um, so if you, you know, um, if you kind of want to know Pacifics, because I could waffle on about different types of races, you know, the avians and the, oh, I, could, I could go on. So if you kind of pinpoint what you want to know, otherwise I could spend the rest of the, show um yes i'm calling it a show yeah um waffling on uh, about that so sorry try and be more specific and i'll try and help that out hello from australia james wilson's wrote what's your thoughts on dr stephen greer and also what's the best dt footage um so the so the footage that i saw where i mentioned the the thing that's my best footage but um i worry about some of these other ones where you got like skinny bob um, I don't know if you've seen that one where he's wearing. Um... See, the thing is, when these security footage gets released of these aliens, these are professional cameramen. They're paid by the military, even if it's Russia. These are professional cameramen. You don't, they don't just give a camera to someone and say, oh, we found an alien, quick film. These are professional camera people that they hire in or, or are already on the books. So when you're filming something like an alien, um, you keep them in frame. Now, there's one video where there's this alien's walking around, and I, I wrote up on the TikTok video saying, look, it's out of frame, and someone said, oh, it's been cropped. I said, no, you'd still be in the centre of the frame. Um, obviously, I'm... I do camera work as well. Um, so that, you know, that's a, the most logical thing. So cut a long story short... Um, I don't think there's any decent um, little grave footage out there that I could say, go and, go and watch, and I totally believe it. Um, there was a guy, I can't remember his name, he's, he's got he's got a whole video on uh, Netflix, I'm just trying to remember his name off the top of my head, um, and he had these these greys supposedly popping up out of his bedroom window, uh, back, you know, fr front room window, sorry, he lives in the States, I can't remember his name, I'm trying to remember it. Um, and he took footage of it, and then later on, he, they apparently rang him, and then they turned up at some his daughter's recital or something, and it was like, no, okay, I can't remember the guy's name. Um, so at the moment, I don't think there's any great footage out there that I could pinpoint and say that's definitely a, a grey. Um, and this Dr. Stephen Greer, yeah, I mean, I think he's fairly on the level there's I think he's pretty good uh, anyone that sticks their neck out um, I know he does work with the military sometimes um, has been to the White House apparently and helped debrief um, that whoever was at the White House at the time about aliens and different things so uh, 
ultra clued up. I mean, you got to remember he was a doctor, so to, to to go from doing his job to being ridiculed for saying that he can talk to aliens and stuff like that, then um, you know, hats off to someone that's prepared to do that from you know his career. So I think he's pretty much on the level. Um, I mean, yes, he might have to hide a few things from us because you know, obviously disclosure information he was the one that actually set up the disclosure project as well um but there's certain things he may have to hide just for his own safety um and but i think he's on the level um pj has wrote i worry for your sanity thank you pj um i worry for people that don't uh think outside the box actually i think they're the sort of the people that will end up causing the rest of us problems in the very near future with what's going on around the world, unfortunately. Um, uh, I am, or Liam Kagers wrote, can travel forward in time, very minimal. It's been proven. Can't travel back, grandfather paradox. Well, from what I understand, when they travel back, they actually create a new timeline, so they're not on our timeline anymore as such. So it doesn't create that paradox. Um, but I have heard that uh, the time travel forward is very minimal. Yes, I have heard that. Um, Amanda's replied back to that same question. Why would you say that? Also, nothing on the news because they are manipulative liars. Yeah, I mean, anyone that watches news, so the person that said to me, I worry for your sanity, I bet that person, PJ, has the normal terrestrial TV and news that they watch daily. And if you do watch that, then there's no hope for for us. Paul Clark, what do you know about the Book of Giants that was removed from the Bible? I'm okay. So I'm as you probably I don't know if you've been watching my videos. I'm doing giants as we speak. So keep watching because uh, it's I don't know what can't remember what number it's going to be, but it'll be the next couple maybe three videos and then that will come out. Um, I've I've got loads already stored in the draft, so it's one of those that will be released fairly soon. So um, just just to save me time here, keep watching my videos. And no, that's not a plug to make make people watch my videos. Is if if I wanted people to watch my videos, I'd go and get a half naked woman because they seem to get millions of views, and I don't. It's, it's sad. Um, James Wilson. No, I mean footage of aliens. Not craft. Um, yeah, so as I say, I can't say any alien footage that I've seen is 100% real. I can't. I wouldn't say that. A lot of it. it because I because I, I come from a filming background, um, I look at things like lighting. I look at what camera they would have used. I would have looked at who would have filmed it, whether it was a professional cameraman, uh, whether it was an amateur um, things like that, um, and even what height. There was one alien footage that I saw, um, and they had the camera on a tripod low, um, or the aliens were six foot something. So it, I, I look at all of that before I even think that that's, you know, then before I even look at the alien or whether or not it's CGI. Um, uh S four five fours wrote. Do you think the Kurds are the original Sumerians on Earth, who are still alive? No, I think I think the only uh, so the Sumerians to me were the Anunnaki properly. Then obviously they created humans, which stayed on Earth, and we're here now. Um, so if you mean the Sumerians as in the ancient Sumerians, the Anunnaki's, um, then. Uh, no, I think the anarchy has gone. If you mean the humans that ended up, you know, living in Sumeria, um, which ended up being the Kurds, um, I don't think they were anarchy. Um, I think they were just humans that that ended up populating that area. Do you believe James Wilson? Do you believe the Earth is flat or round? Round. Round, yeah. Um, I've asked many questions to people. Uh, you know, this, the simple one is Hades Comet. Um, you know, um, for the for the for the dome, people can't answer that one. Um, but no, it, it's, there's too many things that that make me think that the, the Earth is round compared to flat. Um, uh, 
Um, uh, um, uh, zero. The soul leaves you. Mean the soul leaves you. Mean. Um, so that's just going back to the people dying. So yeah. So the soul is really another entity. It's just just no different from a cat or dog. It's just a, a light energy that we can't see that joins with you. Um, we are classed as containers for them. And they learn through our experiences while they're with us. And then when we die, we're then joined with them for, for a period until we cross over to to the light, so to speak. Um, but people call it soul, spirit. Um, it's, a, it's really just an entity. Um, which the um, Anunnaki's wrote about. So we know that you know they could see them. In fact, I've got a video coming out of, of why the fact that they could possibly see them, because they talk about seeing them coming out of dead people. Now, you don't write that unless you can see them coming out of dead people. Um, and they did talk about spirits a lot, you know. Um, I won't bore you with that. But, yeah, um, so I've done a video on why I think we can't see them compared to them. Uh, obviously, their eyesight is different because they were aliens, but still, I've, I've done a video on my thoughts anyway. Uh, Allure Card has wrote thoughts on white noise and ringing often happen. Um, are you referring to sort of visually seeing white noise or sound uh, and ringing, ringing in the ears? I'm not quite sure. Not an expert on that side of it. Um, so I, I couldn't comment. Sorry. Uh, Mitch Sarah Sierra Shara has wrote good day to you guys. Good day. And um, we're all saying good day back. Um <laughs> Amanda's wrote um to someone um that I take my time to get to the to the messages. I try and answer as best I can without waffling on too much. So I apologize if I don't get to your questions when you actually write them. Uh, if you, James has wrote, if you get the first dose of Pfizer, will you die? Uh, I have to be careful what to say here because obviously this goes on YouTube as well. So I don't want it being pulled off. Um, I think no good's going to come from it. Um, no good at all. Now, just this morning they were talking about, um, I think it's in the UK that they have allowed children as young as five to have these things. Um, you know, it's number 25 in the UK of deaths at the moment behind cancer, behind even at its peak last year. If you looked at um, the deaths, this is crazy. You, it was number 16 last year at its peak on, on the death scale of government's death scale of what kills people. Number, uh, uh, the one before it was if you was at home, in other words, electric shocks, you know, killing yourself at home. They put us in lockdown. So we're at home. The bigger killer than what they're, they're locking us in for was to stay at home. So they've stayed as, so, yeah. So, you know, you, you just have to look at TikTok to realise what, uh, unfortunately, Facebook and everything else are, are blocking any kind of comments, negative or correct about you know what um so once you realize that then you know that they're up to no good and um no good's going to come of this unfortunately um so i i'm not an anti-vaxxer um but i don't want that in me um ever <laughs> um you know if it didn't work the first two times it's not going to work the third time it's not going to work the fourth time so it's not a real in my opinion it's not it's it's a it's a concoction that's made for a different reason. Um, someone sent me something, the A7 Love has sent me something, times six, whatever that is, thank you. Um, and someone sent a pumpkin. <laughs> uh, giant trees. That's a good question, actually. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen the um, TikTok videos where they say that these these stumps that kind of look like very tall mountains um that f that get literally cut off at the top they're suggesting that these are trees now someone that i 
highly recommend you guys watch and listen to is Michael Tellinger because he's actually um, done some research very recently, about a week ago. Um, he sent me an email <coughs> saying that um, he's now looked into these trees, these giant trees. Um, now, he's come to the conclusion that they are trees. Now, if he's come to the conclusion they're trees, then I believe him. He's he's fantastic. Can't praise the guy enough. Um, now, he says they're petrified trees. I don't know if you guys know what petrified means. But um, <coughs> if they were trees, then they would have been absolutely huge. Um, so <coughs> I want to do... I want to try and collaborate with um, Michael Tellinger. Um, to put some of his information out on my videos. I haven't contacted him yet about that. But um, I, so if in the meantime, go watch, go look at his site, michaeltellinger.com, I think it is. Um, and he's talking at the moment about giant trees. Um, so, yeah, I can't say much more than that because I, I kind of want him to get the credit for his his um, research. Um, Francis has wrote, have you seen a ghost? No, I've just only sort of used the make makeshift Ouija board and the, the glass moved and there was only two of us, but I've not seen a ghost. Um, there's a video that, that I've done, uh, that's put on my videos, um, showing an orb splitting into two. Try and watch the videos in order if you can, because it shows, uh, I talk about how the light beings, which are the you know, the the ghosts or whatever you want to call them, um, how they are part of a soul group. And so, of course, people say that they're a soul group because, or soul, you know, the soul mate is, is technically doesn't have to be your um, long lost love. It's a group of these orbs all joined together. And so the video that's on my video shows actually uh, security footage of an orb splitting into two, which kind of, solidifies my suggestion that they do break up which is what i was saying and and i've i've worked out there's about six in a group so far i mean there may be more maybe less well not less but there's there may be more but i can only get up to six in a group at the moment from my research but and those um <clears throat> those orbs uh or, or soul group could be your um neighbor could be you know someone basically that, that will interact with you at some point or another and that's all they're doing is he, that soul group wants to learn um from each other so you could be <clears throat> you could be murdered by um one of your soul group and that sounds stupid but that's what it is because that you then learn that you're murdered by you know you learn what it's like to be murdered and the murderer learns what it's like to murder. So when you when you die, that you get a soul uh, you get a soul review. So you review your life and you go through the experiences again, um, supposedly from other people's perspectives as well. So that's why it's a learning thing. So th there's for them there's no good or bad. It's just learning. Uh, ringing in the ears says. Uh, uh our card um yeah sorry i don't know about ringing in the ears or not that's not something i've looked into sorry uh, but amanda's replied saying i've tried to concentrate on it when it happens but haven't received any messages yet um other than someone stop ringing the phone <laughs> bad joke um <clears throat> um amanda's wrote haven't looked into it properly yet but i might be oversensitive uh, Moon Witches wrote, love what you do, thank you. That's more than the person earlier that said BS. Thank you. Uh, I've watched your videos from one up, still not finished all the way, but I have uh, the same interest. Oh, well, that's very nice of you to say. Um, yeah, there's a lot of videos, isn't there? And if, if people, I asked a question the other day on one of the videos, you know, how deep do you want me to go? Um, and so far, everyone sort of said go deep. So if that's the case, then there's going to be thousands of videos by the end of it. Um, it's just a shame for me that, you know, I put up a video and it's like it gets 200 views and then you watch other people's TikToks where they're sort of just standing there going, do, 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 and a million views. Um, so uh, sad. Uh, Moon Witches wrote, 
people sending me messages, a little hand signal saying they probably know the ones that they mean. I can't help it. When I, when I switch past, like there's this sort of Asian lady or something, and she goes, dee, 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 dee. <laughs> stuck in my head. Um, I don't just, uh, Moonwitch is right, I don't just research it as much as you, but well done. I'm grateful for your work. Oh, you're more than welcome. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I try, you know, even, even in my spare time, sort of like in the bath or when I'm driving somewhere, I, I stick something on, um, you know, whether it's a YouTube video or whether it's coast to coast or I've been on a couple of radio stations myself, actually. Um, uh, yes, I know. <laughs> Can you believe it? I waffled on, on some American radio stations, um, uh, for an hour. Um, they, they had me on for an hour, different ones. Um, Richard Serrett was one of the interviewers, um, fade to black. I don't know if you guys are into all that kind of stuff. I was on there. Um, the only one I didn't, haven't been on is coast to coast. Um, uh, but, uh, there you go. Maybe they don't like my waffling. Um, but I haven't actually really reached out to them. So, uh, moon witches wrote, keep it up. I get completely. I get it completely, but I guess the truth is hard to convince a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my mum, the thing is with my mum, if someone else says it on TV, someone, you know, that's famous, she'll believe whatever they say. Um, But if I say it, it's like, yeah, really? Um, So unfortunately, I think that's the the mentality of some people. I'm not knocking my mum, but I'm just saying that... um, if someone says it on TV, then it's gospel. It's it's true, and that's unfortunate. I think how we're ending up in this situation that we're in now. Um, there's a there's a thing that was talking about the Amish people who don't watch TV and they've not had any COVID issues, <laughs> and that that's because they never had any TV. So if you don't have TV, you won't have none of these problems that's going around. Um, you have a TV, you watch it, you start being sucked into it. Um, Moonwitch wrote, that's, that's great. Using your voice for good, it'll, it'll be remembered. That's me talking about me being on a radio station. Um, and Amanda's wrote, I waffle with syrup. Yeah, waffles and syrup, yeah. Uh, uh, Moonwitch's wrote, uh, right, people need to be told by people in, in suits with fame, oh, in suits with fame behind them. And it's very uncom- unfortunate. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, it it's true, isn't it? It's you know, if 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 Obama back, yeah, I'm not going to use um, Trump or Biden, but if Obama turned around and said there's aliens, then everyone would have suddenly believed it. But you know, you could have the world's best researcher turn around and say there's aliens, and it's like, mm, okay, we might believe it. And then if you got you talking about it because you've just been abducted it's yeah right it's it's a sad state of affairs um uh moon which we're on our own oh sorry we're we are our own journalists now and our own sources too we've got to keep the message alive yeah um unfortunately um you know the the certain Companies such as Google, etc., um, stop that now, as you probably know. Um, you know, they'll remove things that they want to remove. Um, um, you know, TikTok, I think it's actually TikTok's pretty good. Um, I think it's people that complain about the videos. I don't think it's TikTok. Because um, I did, I don't know if you guys saw, there was a, probably a month or two ago, there was a news broad, uh, news release thing on in the States and they were saying that they're going to look at trying to censor, uh, this is the government, American government, trying to censor TikTok because obviously it's allowing this kind of information to get out there. So it won't be, you know, they will eventually somehow stop TikTok from doing this. And I mean, Bill Gates himself has said um, on an interview, which you can watch on TikTok, believe it or not, um, where he says that people are th- people think him and Fauci are you know the devil and are trying to kill people and blah blah blah, and his solution to it was um, looking into the social media and um, basically stopping it, so stopping that from happening. So instead of addressing the problem where people think he wants to stop the comments about it, so instead of him proving that he's not trying to kill people. Um, he's just trying to shut people up and that 
for me as alarm bells. You know, if it was me and someone said, you know, you're really bad, you're doing this, that and the other, I would go out there and I would say, right, look, come with me, follow me to these labs that I uh, own, part own Pfizer or fund Pfizer, even though it's a $40 billion company. Uh, they don't need my money, but hey, I'm going to fund them and another one of these companies. Um, come follow me and I'll show you what's in it. That's what I would do. I would take news crews. I would do whatever it takes to clear my name. I wouldn't shut the platforms down that are saying about it. I would do whatever it takes to clear my name. And so that makes me worry about people that try and shut things down as opposed to trying to clear their name. Uh, Amanda wrote, apparently only tele terrorists use Telegram. Uh, Moonwitch wrote, I, be I believe that also it's a great platform of information. So they want it down. Yeah, t TikTok's quite good like that. I'm running... Uh, out of time, I've got eight minutes left. So if there's any anyone wants to ask quickly, um, um, Moonwitch has wrote, even the COVID tests are soaked in. I won't pronounce that a because I probably <laughs> probably can't, and b because it will probably get me pulled off of YouTube when this goes up on YouTube. So I'll put this up on YouTube for anyone that wants to watch or listen to it. Um, people do actually. I'm surprised they. Um, I get some messages from people on YouTube um, saying they really like the listening to it on, on YouTube, which is nice. Um, just in, for your information, whoever's watching this or listening to this, I do put these on to um, a podcast as well. So all you have to do is type in Outro History Podcast and you'll find it on Spotify, on Google Podcasts, all sorts of stuff. It's really easily done, actually. It's um, a site. If you ever want to do your own podcast, it's a, it's a site called Anchor FM. Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R, I think it is, fm.com. Um, really easy, just register and then just upload whatever rubbish you want to waffle on about. And it will convert the video, even the video, it will convert that to the audio. You put a description in, press go, and then it disseminates it amongst all the platforms so I, you know our true history is on spotify and all i done was uploaded it to the one place anchor fm so if you're interested in doing your own um podcasts on stuff do let me know because i'd love to listen to you guys and b um and obviously anyone that's got anything they want me to try and plug uh or advertise on my videos or on a live chat uh please let me know and i'll do that you've probably seen the fridge door <laughs> fridge door alarms that i plug and that book um the the wonderful book in fact uh what do you th uh, moon which wrote what do you think about the petrified trees like uh, as i was just mentioning before uh, michael tenninger has done some great research on it and i want to try and collaborate with him on it so um I watch this space. Um, he if he's if he says that they're trees and they're petrified, then I believe him. Um, he, his research is, you, I can't praise him enough. I mean, when you go and look at his work on the stones, the ancient monuments, and how he worked out that they're a power source, not just the pyramids, but um, how it works like a circuit board. All of the from the from above, you can see how. The energy from the ley lines would charge these um, monuments on certain positions, and then the power would run through that to the next set of monuments. Amazing work! And he's not only that. The um, the videos, I think they're on Vimeo. It, it, subscribe to him; it's well worth it. Even if you subscribe for one month and watch them all, um, but he also has these um, these because he's he lives in South Africa, which is exactly where. We know the Anunnaki were mining, um, which is also where they created the first Homo sapiens sapiens. So he's got these stones that he's found that have these unique properties um, where you could just tap it and it will ring for you know a minute or two. So um, going back to the sound frequencies that I was talking about on my videos about levitation, so definitely um, look Michael Tellinger up. Fantastic. You should use, uh, Andrew's wrote, you should use Clapper. It's like TikTok, but less censorship. Um, okay, I've not really heard of Clapper. Um, but thank you. I will look at that shortly once I get off. What do you think they have found in Antarctica? So they found it a long time ago. Um, so what I believe is they found certain things a long time ago. 
And then while they were there, they then found the alien craft. Now, I believe there is pyramids there, and I believe that Antarctica wasn't always covered in ice. I mean, you know, going back to the Sahara Desert, they found fossils of fish in the Sahara Desert. So at some point or another, and obviously the bottom of the ocean would have been sort of sand, so that makes sense why the desert is sandy. The Sahara. Um, so at some point or another, Antarctica was lush green grass. Now, Admiral Byrd even still suggests that. I don't know if you know who he is, but um, he suggested that back in the 40s that there was certain pockets of area that had still green grass. So they, I think that the second, so I think they found pyramid, one pyramid possibly at the beginning, way back in the um, late 40s, early 50s. Um, and then put a sort of a no-fly zone there. And then, of course, people then said, oh, well, that's because there's a firmament and that's why people can't go to Antarctica. But they're not stopping people going out into the ocean. They're only stopping people going to Antarctica. So if there was a firmament, go, go into the ocean um, and hit the wall, but you won't. So, um, so but I think they found... Um, uh, a, a, a craft there's a, enough whistleblowers I mean um, Linda Moulton Howe on one of her videos actually interviews two of them two of the whistleblowers and they talk about how you get into this craft I mean it's massive size sort of, it was described as city sized um, and that it still had power and stuff so I think that's what they found in there and they're still still there now um, working on whatever they can on it so that's the reason why we can't go to Antarctica. Um, Amanda's wrote, uh, <laughs> Plug Epic Journey, it's a good book. Yes, apparently you bought it as well, didn't you? Yeah, I bought it. Uh, it's called Black Ops, Aliens, Spirits, Bigfoot and Our Untold History. It's a very good book, if you're interested. It's on Amazon. Um, uh, Andrew's wrote in Antarctica lots of buildings are hidden yeah pro probably in plain sight probably uh, buried as well under under ice um, uh, Andrew's wrote why don't someone make a, a drone that can fly over Antarctica and record it it'll probably be shot down um, yeah they take that very seriously um, I've heard of people that have tried you know tried to get into Area 51 or S4 Groom Lake or places that they shouldn't have um, and it goes back to that, if you ever watched uh, X-Files, where Mulder tried to get into one of these type of places and they literally um, gave him so sodium pentahol, I think it's called, um, truth serum to, to, to find out who he is, what he was up to, why he was there, and then they give him other types of medication to make him try and forget. And they do have the ability to make people's sh short-term memory disappear as well, using that light. Yes, it's from MIB, but it's a real thing um, that they have done. And, and uh, they've done it to mice as well. Um, that's how I knew it was a real thing. Uh, ten years ten, ten years ago, they did. Um, scientists came out, it was in newspapers, that scientists could, using light, certain light bursts, they could make a mouse forget uh, it's short term memory so for example they put it through a, a maze over and over and over and it knew exactly how to get to the end to get its cheese or whatever they was feeding it um, over and over days 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 it just went straight to the cheese straight to the cheese and then bang they used this light frequency colour whatever I'm not 100% sure on how they do it but they use this um, and then they put the mouse back in and it just didn't know where to go um, but if they've done it to mouse and they're letting us know now, it means they've been testing this thing for years. It's, you've got to remember, we find out what they've done 40 years after they've done it. So, um, yeah. Uh, hello there, The Value. I'm just about to shoot off now, but if you want to hear anything um, that I've waffled on about, it's on. this will be on YouTube at some point. And there's other live chats as well, so if you want to hear me talking about other stuff that other people had asked, feel free to go and watch those on YouTube. Um, yeah, Andrew's wrote about the Admiral Bird being attacked by flying saucers. Um, <laughs> Andrew's wrote, send thousands of drones, they can't stop them. Always a good, good question. Uh, good point. 
uh, I wouldn't be the one. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be the one controlling those drones in case they did come and find me. Um, so Fudgers wrote, "Thank you, one of uh, Fudger one three nine wrote, thank you." Um, yeah, so I'm sorry it's come to the end, but it's been a lovely discussion with you guys. Thank you, Amanda, for um, helping out in between and mentioning comments and stuff. So um, it's. Uh, I'm not going to do a live on Monday, unfortunately. I'm at home again making my secret tunnel so I can escape when all this bad stuff starts happening. <laughs> um, you all know what I'm on about, I'm sure. Um, the zombie apocalypse, as they call it. Um, but uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'll probably do a live on Tuesday. If I'm if I'm free, I might do one on Monday as well, if, if I can get the time. If my signal can <laughs> reach outside of the, my hidden bunker. Um Okay, so I better go because I've got stuff to do and people's waiting for me. So thank you very much, guys, and I will talk to you all soon. Don't forget to watch my videos from number one onwards. You'll learn, hopefully, some stuff. If not, you'll be entertained either way. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.